I call the custom a body of bugs instead of clothes you wear to live a life. How do we know if we're volunteers? Uh, do you have to do it through uh, regression? That's about the only way to find out, except some people tell me I remember volunteering. You forget when you come in. And they don't possess any special mystical powers. They can't levitate. They can't do things like that. No. They're just living a life that they're wondering what in the world they're doing here. But they're a little more spiritual than most. I think they are, because some of them have found out they have psychic abilities. And to figure you out. You're vibrating on a frequency that you cannot control. You're an errant. Errants, unfortunately, uh... We go through a lot. We go, if you're an errant, you're going to have, on a daily basis, I'm going to tell you right now about your personal, your, your characteristic trait. If you're listening to this video, you're not among the living dead. If you're listening to this video, you're searching for something beyond yourself. That makes you an errant. If you're an errant, I'm going to tell you right now, you may not admit it to your fellow man, but on a daily basis, you experience such a wide spectrum of emotions that you can't really understand. You don't know where the stigmat is coming from. But on a daily basis, you get really angry. And you get really happy over, 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 over different things. This is this is a chief characteristic of errands because we are so detached from the control systems that are around us. When we're not, we know we are in an area that we do not belong. So another thing is, is inexplicable phenomena happen to you that you're embarrassed to admit to other people. This is a, this is another characteristic of errands. Things happen around you, but if you were to admit them to other people, you know they would think you're crazy. Well, this, it isn't you being crazy, it's your holography around you is not being knitted correctly because AIX can't really predict your behavior. You're stored and vibrating on a frequency outside of its range. So all it can do is produce NBC, NPCs to distract you. And an NPC is not just a, something that looks like a person that's A in a distance. An NPC can be a bird that suddenly swoops in front of you to stop you from talking to somebody. It can be a vehicle that goes by resplendent with full audio and vibration to make you feel it's a real vehicle to stop you from seeing something real quick. NPCs are in your daily life. You will learn to recognize them. You will feel them. Because the parents are led by intuition. Intuition is the predecessor of knowledge. Intuition is the chief characteristic of a soul that has now become detached from the simulation. So these are these old things you're talking about. I don't have any particulars for Mandela Effect. I just have a general idea that all of these phenomena are edits. 